What's going on campers? Camp Face It here. Today's vlog is a little bit different. I'm gonna do a little bit of history, a little bit, show you a, a, an old air base that's not active anymore for years. It's been gone for years, but it, it's a park. It's called Nenegret Park. It's located here in Charlestown, Rhode Island, where I live, right down the road. And yeah, I, I, I come here all the time, but I never show you guys I never talk about it. I never show like the what's left to look at. And there's some pretty interesting things. So let's get into this. Camp Facer. <laughs> okay, so here I'm standing on the old runway and it appears to be a gigantic number. I believe this is 30. Here's where the three goes like that, like that, and over there we got the zero. So um, this is the end of the runway, and I think this is where all the uh, air traffic went down that way. This is all overgrown. Actually, when I came here about 30 years ago, or no, way longer than that. I was in elementary school. This was all one runway. None of this, none of the bushes or anything were here. So um, it, it's all overgrown, obviously. But over here, this is like where the C-130s, it was an air base for army air base. And I think um, C-130s and other types of uh, war planes would take off. And this X over here, they, this used to be a painted X, because right where I'm walking used to be all pavement. But they built, well, they didn't really build it. They just put in wood and painted it yellow as where the X was located. Right here. So it's kind of cool that they did put this in here just to show where it was. But um, anyways, today we're also going to try to show you guys a few bunkers. If we can find them, I don't know if they're even if we're allowed to even go there but we're going to walk the nature path a little bit and just show you guys a little bit of that so we'll see what we can find place there's a lot of hiking trails around here you guys again there's um big soccer fields a playground a swim hole a, a, a 10 speed racetrack uh disc golf there's a bunch of stuff to do further at the beginning of the park but this is a backside where there's a lot of trails hiking trails over that way is a saltwater pond and again this is the old runway with a, we just basically did a loop around there, through there. This place is loaded with ticks, though, especially in the summer. Mosquitoes, ticks. If you don't like that kind of stuff, not for you. <laughs> ticks don't bother me. Never, never have. I never got Lyme disease, though, thank God. But yeah, we're going to see what we can do about finding these bunkers. Okay, so over here we have. Next to the, the runway, we have this little uh, piece of history here of what this actually was. If you guys feel like pausing this and reading on your own, feel free, because I'm not gonna read all this. Maybe a, maybe a little, a little of it. Um, but over here, it looks like we have an aerial view of the actual map. See all the runways and it looks like there was a lot of hangars and buildings over in here, which aren't there anymore. It's all opened up with grass fields now. And this is like, I think the soccer field area, um, or maybe over here. But this is, I think we're, we might be right around here or over here. 
trying to think here. Let's see. I think we're down here. Yeah. But we have the old uh, Hell, Hellcat aircraft. And here's some people that were shot here, I believe. Pretty cool. Okay, so we parked over there. This is a, the runway. Now we're going to head down this dirt path. And we were told that there's bunkers off this way. My daughter is with me and she said her her friend basically told her they're off that way. You know where they are? Mm -hmm. But we're not sure. We'll have to we're gonna go see you guys. We are going to see. And uh I'm out of breath because I don't do this. I'm getting I'm getting fat. I need to exercise more. There's a little adventure. Let's see what lies ahead of us. There's no Jason Voorhees in these woods. This looks more like a Texas Chainsaw Massacre style to me. We've been now walking for a good mile or more, you guys. This is definitely in the middle of nowhere on this base. I've lived here my whole life in the craziest part. I've never known that these were here. I thought they took away everything. I would have never guessed to walk down the one random path if there's still something off in, in the void of the woods there. We're looking. So it's not easy, but it's exciting to check this out. <sighs> Getting my steps in today, boy. Okay, you guys, so we came down this overgrown grassy area and we happened to find one right here. <sighs> it, it looks like it's opened. We found one right here and it looks like it's opened. Hello? Look at this. Hello? 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 Wow. Get the flashlight. It's a fucking tunnel. Hello? Hello. <laughs> this is creepy. I can't even see the end of it. There could be bats in here. Holy shit. This is a solid lake. Hello? I think this is a dead end. Oh god. Oh god. Here. I'm fine, I'm not going in there. Why? This is dead end anyways. Look at the old steel. Yeah. Holy shit, you guys. We just came through there to this clear opening here with a cool looking tree, and it looks like there's. Like, what is that? This looks like a serious. This looks like where they would, like, a witch trials would go down and hang witches from this fucking tree. <laughs> What is this over here? Is this part of the bunker? It's like a military bunk bed. Holy crap. This is a cool filming location. Look at this thing. What the fuck? 
but it looks like they put a sign on oh, the Truston Pond Wildlife. Like Holy crap. Oh, it's like a, kind of like a lookout tower. It looks like a bunk bed, but it's kind of like, Somebody put it here to get a view of the pond, maybe in the winter when the leaves are all gone. Wow. That tree is crazy. This probably belonged to the uh, bunker we were just saw. It probably was a bunk bed at one point. I bet you it was. I mean, I'm just digging this tree right here. Holy shit, I see rope. Where? There's rope. Somebody tied. There's Wait. a rope right here. There's rope? Where? What the hell? Right there. See it? Strands of rope. Maybe somebody had like a swing or maybe somebody killed somebody. Who knows? <laughs> you never know what that's for or was for. I feel a little creeped out because I don't know technically if we're supposed to be back here or not, you guys. Um, wait, what's this over here? There's this some kind of cement. Yeah, I don't know. I always get creeped out about venturing off into places. You're not really... Holy shit, what is that? See this? Look. There's more bunker stuff. What the fuck? Holy shit. There's a lock on it too. This is some Indiana Jones shit right here. Look at this. Look at that. What the fuck? It looks like a fairly new padlock. Some of the old stonework is right here too. So it's kind of like a a bunker that was sealed into like the ground, and they built it with reinforcement rocks and old steel. Whew. So weird. All right, here's that tree. I think it's probably about time to get out of here. Yeah, unfortunately, that's as far in as I'm going. I found a cool, couple cool things I was told about, and I don't want to press my luck because um, there's a reason why things are kind of hidden away. I mean, there could be dangerous shit around here, especially being an old army uh, air base. It could have been like, who knows, tra snare traps set up or something. Who knows, landmines, whatever be the case. We're heading back.